Candace Owens' horrible take on Catholicism versus Protestantism. I didn't know Candace was becoming a Catholic. I actually don't know a whole lot about her own faith journey, but she's been more vulnerable about this. And she decided to have a discussion, debate between her husband, who's a Catholic, and Ali Beth Stuckey regarding Catholicism versus Protestantism. Now, um, my initial impression of this is out of all the resources and all the relationships they have, they decided to pair her husband with Ali Beth Sucky, no disrespect to Alan Beth Sucky, I just didn't know her to be like this apologist for Christian Protestantism, you know, in Calvinism. She's also a host for Blaze TV, so it's most likely an industry connect thing. Don't offend your industry connects, respect, okay. Yeah. Um, and so she, uh, Ali is a Cal self professed Calvinist, but in analyzing this, I was going into it, and I was like, oh, this is going to be interesting. Like Candace is leaning into this conversation, right? I. I don't know anyone who asked her to lean into this conversation. <laughs> I didn't know that this was her field of expertise, but here, here we are nonetheless. Well, the marketing W was that the number one searched thing when you look up Candace Owens is Candace Owens' husband. Ah. So, so, and she mentions that in the beginning. So she's like, so we, yeah. here's a conversation with my husband. Yes. Fine lad. Gen genius. Fa fa fine lad. Yeah. Seems like an amazing guy. Out the rip, this conversation goes left really quick and then it goes and it takes a while to get to the point it takes a long time to to, to get to the point and so let me just set, let's just set this up the first clip of um just a really bad frame of this conversation okay now guys i am close to multiple catholics okay i am uh i've had trent horn on the channel who i am a fan of Okay, I uh, we we go watch that conversation. I would like to have Pines uh, would acquaint us on at some point. I'm, I, I li like I, I I keep up with Catholic apologists because I want to learn and glean from the best. Okay, um, this was not that. Okay, on Candace's part. So uh, let's play this first clip, and then we're going to try to get to the meat of the interview. Go ahead. Husband was raised Catholic. I was ra raised Protestant, and of course we have a lot of discussions surrounding faith. I am attending Catholic church services more and more, obviously because I bring my children uh, for celebrations at the cathedral and where my husband attends church. And the discussions have gotten interesting because my husband planted a seed in my head that won't go away. And I would not yet describe me as being in a place where that seed has fully bloomed. But it is a question that I am struggling with as somebody with Protestant beliefs. And what he essentially said to me, he was also uh, formerly Protestant and now he's a Catholic, was, do I believe that in the 1500 years following Jesus Christ, leading up to Martin Luther stapling his theses, that nobody went to heaven? The when argument from her husband that was so earth shattering to her is that, hey, as a Protestant, do you really believe that the first 1500 years of the church, no one was saved? Why? Because the Reformation didn't happen until 1500 years. Yep. And again, no disrespect to her, no disrespect to, the, to her husband. This is the biggest <laughs> straw man in this discussion I have maybe ever heard in my life. I don't know any Protestants. I don't know any hardcore Calvinists, like like the folks that like Catholics aren't saved, like those guys. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know those guys that believe that the first fifteen hundred years of the church, no one was saved. That's crazy talk. She she says something a little crazy. That she says a bigger straw man after this too. After in in the same clip. Yes. Okay. So so <laughs> I don't know anyone that believes this. This is the position that most Protestants hold. There was one unified church through the first 500 years. That was called the universal church or the Catholic. Catholic just means universal. Then you had the first schism. That is when the Eastern Oriental Church separated. Okay. Then you had another great schism at 1050. Then after that, and that's the Eastern Orthodox Church. Then after that is when you started getting some of the goofy things that, that Catholic theology drifted from, okay, that the, that the original church drifted from, and it compounded and compounded and compounded until finally Luther was like, hey, like, we need to clean some of this stuff up. He wasn't trying to separate the church. Again, he was trying to bring the church back to restoration and repentance, led to the 95 theses, and then was forced into splitting from the Reformation, okay? 
N- literally, I don't know a single person that's like uh, 1,500 years, came on a scene and died on the cross for our sins. Uh, no one was saved. Luther was the one that, like, no one believes that. No one believes it that. It also draws the conclusion that uh, Catholics aren't saved in general, which her husband is actually making that argument if he's telling her that. Yeah. He's saying, as a Protestant, I didn't believe Catholics were saved. Therefore, do you believe that for the first 1,500 years, no one was saved? And so now that means that means you had a poor understanding of church history one, and you have a poor told understanding. Either of them, yeah. This? I don't know who told either of them this, <laughs> but I I, th- I would I would say even the most staunch Calvinist Protestant will still acknowledge that some Catholics can be saved. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't mean that we believe that their theology is legit. Yeah, that's yeah. actually not what it means, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think we actually we had a conversation some years ago mm-hmm. um, that was just about: Do you think someone can go to heaven with bad theology? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's actually that's back when when I was hard on my my Calvinist tip. Mm-hmm. I was a five point child of John Calvin. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was a that's born weird. again child of John Calvin, <laughs> and. Yeah, I, you know, and even then, I was like, we had that conversation, mm-hmm. and I was like, yeah, I think actually probably someone can go to heaven without, yeah. I mean, with with bad theology, yeah, because it doesn't, I mean, that's not, you know, what you should have good theology. That's right. important. Theology is very important, but a lot of times you don't see people with, you know, all of this knowledge and all of these like correct thoughts about God yeah. being the most loving and being the most kind and the most like seeking you know god sure. so that's just that's just int- i don't know who where did they where did they i don't know where she pulled this from candace jesus, who, who jesus told you died this? and they got stained glass windows <laughs> they got the, they got the little sticker white stickers on their neck and like the whole thing was created yeah. as if it was exactly the same today yeah. as it was right when jesus died yeah so i i don't know where she got this from i don't know where he got this from i don't i don't legitimately know anyone that believes no one was saved for the first 1500 years until martin Luther came on the scene right. so for so so like l l1 like like a massive l1 now you said she says something even more yeah. man, right right after this yes. oh gosh okay let's go back so essentially uh jesus saved us and then for about 1500 years nobody went to heaven until martin luther stapled his theses and corrected things I don't believe that. I struggle with that question. And it has been something that I have been sitting with for a very long time, of course, because that would almost imply in my mind that Martin Luther is the savior and not Jesus. <laughs> I feel like no he- one <laughs> believes this, Candace. No one, not a single soul believes this. This is a straw man. And if you watch enough of her content, if you and this is no disrespect to the Candace Owens fans, because I know there's going to be some fanboys, and, and a lot of them are boys, uh, of her content. But this is how she does. She, she creates these, these straw mans a lot of times, right? Yeah. It's like, <laughs> like, like no one believes this sort of stuff. Which, by the way, if you are a... If, now, 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 hear me, hear me loud and clear. If you've been a Candace Owens fan forever, and now you're waking up and like, wow, those two easy straw mans, right to back to back, holy moly. Now consider, as you're processing this, what other straw mans has she used in helping shape your ideology Oof. against other other groups that were on her out group and her and she had an in group, right? But but that's I don't want to go there because then we're gonna open a Pandora's box and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, go ahead, John Keith. No, I, I just I feel like I feel like. <laughs> This is just so crazy. It's like if I asked you a, a question right now uh, that literally has nothing to do with what you believe, actually, and then it convinces you to to believe something else. Like that is so crazy. It's like that's not even that's not a thing. I don't even know. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I have no thoughts about this because it's so it's ridiculous. So bad. It's so it's bad. Like, and then, by the way, this is this is a. In my opinion, this is. <laughs> This is an indictment on Catholics and Protestants. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> like, like it's an L all around. Yeah, like, is this it, what yeah. Catholics think Protestants believe about them? Yeah, this is yeah. an L everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, and then, and then, so it is to a degree. Mm-hmm. Like, he, the her husband self admits mm-hmm. that uh, he believed Catholics weren't saved. Mm-hmm. So that, that switched him. And then also, Ali Beth Stuckey, mm-hmm. I think she kind of thinks Catholics aren't saved. You think Ali? You think Ali believes that? Yeah, listening to the listening to the thing, I would have to see. I would have to hear part two that just came out today. Okay, but she was definitely on some like you have some false doctrine. Well, like, the, again, there's a difference between saying you have some false doctrine and yeah. you're in error, yeah. versus saying I don't think you're saved. That's that's true, right? But it, 
Just the. You think she like her tone, like her energy that she was bringing with it makes it feel. I like I thought that? she was very polite and very sweet in the discussion. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out. If you enjoyed this stream, you want to go to Extra Mile, partner with us in our online community for as little as five dollars a month, so you can get this daily after party streams as all of our every as, as well as all of our daily after party streams completely unedited access to our podcast before we go live we have et the hip-hop preacher coming tomorrow oh wow make sure you pull up for that that's going to be streaming exclusively to patreon e. discord taxes uh, a discount for the store partner with us for as little as five dollars a month keep us independent answering only to you and never having to take a brand deal and make goofy mm. commercials like these our friends at Genucel Skincare have exciting news to celebrate in 2023. Using Manscaped during my showers after workout has given me much more confidence. And that's where mud water comes in. True Classic has got your back. All thanks to the sponsor of today's video, SayMine.com. Established titles is your opportunity to earn the title of Laird or Lady. Object credit approval rates range from 7.99% APR to 19.99% APR, including 0.50% auto pay discount. If you don't want us to make ads with brands you don't care about, sign up for our online community for as little as five dollars a month to keep us independent and ultimately answering to you as our boss you get all sorts of benefits like daily replays of our after party streams exclusive access to our discord community and early access to our podcast interviews all starting for only five dollars a month king stream